Welcome to our demonstration on viewing and configuring virtual machine hardware. As we have already created a virtual machine, or VM, let's dig into the VM hardware. Here, we can see a VM having one CPU and 1024 megabytes of memory. We can also see additional details about the hardware, such as location of the hard drive of that virtual machine or MAC address of the network adapter. If we want to edit the settings of the virtual machine hardware, Click on Edit Settings. For example, we can add an additional CPU by clicking on the CPU drop-down menu and selecting 2. We can also add additional memory here. In this case, we change the memory to 2048 megabytes. This number can be specified in megabytes or gigabytes. We can increase the size of the hard drive. We increase the size of this hard drive to 20 gigabytes. Note that we have multiple options for specifying the size of the VM hard drive. We can add new hardware as well. For example, we'll add a network interface card. We click Add and specify what network we want to connect the new interface card to, which is the VM test network in this demo. If we want to remove hardware, we click on the X next to the hardware component. Multiple changes can be made to the virtual machine. We click OK to save these changes. In addition to changing virtual machine hardware, we have several options that can be set for the VM. These options are accessed by going to the top of the window and clicking on VM Options. Here, we want to set the virtual machine to go into the BIOS when it boots for the first time. We power on the virtual machine and get access to the console of the virtual machine by clicking on Launch Console. As we can see, the virtual machine has booted up into the BIOS. We click inside the window and use the arrow keys to find settings we want to change. Now, we set the CD-ROM to be the first boot device and exit the BIOS, saving those changes. The virtual machine restarts, boots from the virtual CD-ROM device, and now we are ready to install the operating system. This concludes our demonstration on viewing and configuring virtual machine hardware. Thank you.